Hi, I'm Jamo from Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. Please take a look at our website and join our Facebook. So, we're going to have a little look at a Corsair case. It's a Graphite Series 230T. And it's a pretty box standard gamey type case with a few nice features, so we'll have a little look. So I've already stripped it out of the box. I'll do my normal little walk round. Taking the side panel off, and as you can see, it's got a Perspex window so you can in see inside. From the front, we've got three 5.25 bays. Up the top there, there's a couple of USB 3s, place for your audio, and just an on, off, and reset. Your power lights there. On the top, you'll see that you've got space, but they're not included, for three, sorry, for two, either 120mm or 140mm fans, or obviously a radiator. And hopefully you'll be able to see behind the mesh at the front that you've got one, two 120mm fans, now these are coloured LED and the case has various colour options, blue, red, etc. Um, and so you just choose which colour fans that you want. There's also a rear mounted included 120mm fan. Now this case as such isn't over exciting to look at, but I guess it's really about what you want to make of it. It's wide, so that gives you scope for putting a large CPU cooler in there. You'll get all the dimensions for the CPU cooler height and video card lengths from the website. The PSU's bottom mounted, and there's plenty of room for some of the longer type of PSU's that are available. But if you use a shorter one, you can put a 120 or 140 mil fan at the bottom. Internally, you've got space there for four three and a half inch drives. Hopefully if I turn around here you'll be able to see that section where you can fit four two and a half inch drives, SSDs, etc. You'll notice this gap between the SSD drives and the 5.25 bays. Well that's obviously going to line up very nicely if you've got a long video card, so there's plenty of room for anything that's on the market. All black interior. If I just lay it down flat, give you a better idea of where one of the front fans is situated. So the air flows nice and clean coming through here towards your video card. And the other one, that will uh, push air against your hard drives. Tool 3 5.25 bays. And tool 3 3.5 inch drive bays. The SSD bays, you do use screws. So it's a decent sized case, so it'll take anything from a little ITX board 
up to a standard um, ATX board. Seven four height expansion slots. It's not the most solid case, but it's not cheap and flimsy, so it's sort of somewhere in between. Just keep turning it around so you can see what you're getting if you buy one. Where your PSU mounts at the bottom, there's a bit of mesh to help prevent dust. Now it's a wide case as I've said already, so what this does allow is a a better gap between the motherboard plate and the other side panel so you can hide your cable in between the two. Some of the manufacturers that do this leave such a little gap it's really hard to do it but there's plenty of uh, space between them on this particular chassis to do it nicely. One thing to look out for, unusually, that the side panels, on normal cases, you push the side panel backwards to get it off. On these, you actually pull it forward. So, just go over the points again. It includes three 120mm fans. The front two are LED. The rear one isn't. You can fit two fans up the top, either 120 or 140 mils. One down the bottom. PSU's bottom mounted. Lots of room for long video cards. It definitely make a good um, chassis for a you know a mid-range gaming system. Well, I guess that's it. Corsair Graphite 230T. I kind of like it. Thanks for listening.